Hello and welcome to the Festival of Media Global in Rome. And uh, one of the hot topics, uh, again, has been programmatic and we've just had a really fascinating panel debate uh, on where programmatics come from and where, well, automation is, is headed. Um, and one of those panellists was Aaron Kumar from Cadrion. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, pleasure. And w one of the topics that you uh, showed some animation talking about was uh, programmatic and television. And, and you said the programmatic isn't the right word when to, to describe how this automation is going to reach TV. So programmatic as a word is associated with a certain form of trading. And it is understood as trading through exchanges or through an auction-based mechanism. And that immediately communicates that all we're looking for is to drop prices. Mm -hmm. And that is not the objective of programmatic. It should never be the objective of programmatic because it's all about driving effectiveness efficiently, mm -hmm. not just driving efficiency. So I think on TV, what we're really looking at is bringing more granular data sets to apply um, on national, local, and cable buys. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to make the buying smarter. Um, and it's it's not about trying to reduce the cost of inventory. Mm -hmm. It's about trying to reduce the cost of brand performance yeah. and the cost of um, direct performance if, if that's what the client wants. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to steer clear about you know, using the word programmatic mm -hmm. because it sort of gives all the connotations which it has in the digital system today, which is mm -hmm. publishers are losing money, it doesn't make money for them, it, there is fraud and there are viewability issues, etc. So that's why we stay clear of, clear of that and we talk about it as advanced TV, mm -hmm. because advanced TV has a lot of components. There is household addressable buying, there is programmatic audience buying. There is also data-led buying that you can do on uh, linear TV, mm -hmm. which is not bought in a programmatic fashion. Okay. Um, um, one of your co-panelists, uh, Seth Rogan, the Chief Revenue Officer at Mashable, um, said that the, the pace of change is fast, but actually not fast enough, frankly. Um, if, if the pace of change is going to accelerate further, do you, do you think clients are in a position to be able to, to cope? And, 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 and what role can agencies play in that? Well, I think clients, clients will... Um, I think everyone struggles with change. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and I think that that is no different for advertisers. Mm -hmm. But I think a few of them are not just keeping pace, they're also leading the industry. So mm -hmm. it's not that it can't be done. I think the role that agencies play, the, the way I always uh, describe uh, us is we're architects. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we architect and create solutions. Mm -hmm. um, and those solutions will differ by clients, it will also differ by platforms. Mm -hmm. Now, um, and, and I think that the role of the architect the role of that person who integrates across this complex ecosystem is only going to become more important. Mm -hmm. And therefore, all this talk about, oh, agencies are history and technology will replace them, et cetera, that's just, uh, that's just bull. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, if I could say something a lot more profane, I would. But well, of course, this is a family show, so we right. won't. But, so, <laughs> so but, at the, but at the end of the day, I, I just think that the role of the agency increases. But yes, if the agency doesn't really keep pace and if you're not able to play that role, mm -hmm. um, it's a challenge, which is why the skill sets of the people that we're hiring now is totally different from the types of people we were hiring three, four years ago. Mm. And, and when you come to a, a, an event like this, finally, um, and you, you meet the people that you're meeting, and uh, do you get a general sense that the understanding, the awareness, and the capability to, 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 to use these tools is, is getting better? It is. It's um, every time... Um, I land up in um, in various panels, conferences, summits, etc. What what I do see is that there is first of all a greater acceptance mm -hmm. of what's happening in this space. Mm -hmm. There's also a greater understanding of the fact that this is not just about driving price down, which yeah. is which is really really critical. I think what tends to happen is that you find the top levels of most organizations, they've understood it. Mm -hmm. It's the, 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 the next question is, how is it going to seep down, yeah. uh, down various levels? And that's the stage we are in right now. It's not yet gone all the way down and people haven't yet embraced it as much as they should. Mm -hmm. But I think places like this are really good because they, they force people to come out of their comfort zones yeah. and confront uh, areas of change. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, well thank you so much for your time and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you.